Oh, the sun is setting. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> currently 10 to 4 in the morning and you know when it's like the night before you need to go to the airport and you have to get there super super early and you just can't sleep like every noise was like waking me up and making me jump so i don't really think i slept but we have got a two and a half hour drive to manchester airport and we will be heading to cyprus together for the first time i've never been to cyprus before i'm really really excited because this is a girl's trip so i'm actually going with one of my best mates rachel you have probably have seen it if you're an OG on the channel in some of the vlogs and we're going over to meet my other best friend Danielle and I'm really really excited to see her because she moved over last year with her twin babies because her husband's in the RAS. Oh I also made a coffee for Rachel so let's go pick Rachel up and go to the airport shall we? One thing I'm definitely not forgetting this time is my coat. If you watched the last set of vlogs where we went to New York you will have seen I left my coat and it was the dead of winter it was like minus one or something and it was so 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 cold and this is what I did. I was on my way to the airport and I left my coat on the banister like this, put my case in because obviously when you drive to the airport you want to be like comfy, you don't wear like coats and stuff but anyway, <laughs> let's go shall we? Let's pack the car and go shall we? What started off as a smooth and relaxing morning with our iced coffee slowly turned into nearly missing our flight. We hit quite a lot of traffic on the way into Manchester and not only that but we didn't account for the fact that we may need to stop over for wheeze so this set us back tremendously but then not only that when we finally went to the car park and parked our car for the airport parking most of the buses that pass us by were full and didn't end up picking us up for around 45 minutes which delayed us even further oh my god a bus has just drove past us it was a second bus and it's just drove past us and it had space on and we're going to be really late like we literally only have an hour until our flight and we're not even in the airport or through security <laughs> which is luck are you stressed rich <laughs> no, I'm all right now, now that I know we're okay. That was probably one of the most stressful airport experiences, but I'll tell you when we're on the other side when I put my phone away. Anyway, let's get on this plane. We're going to have to go straight to the gate. <laughs> wow, the airport's super busy. Holy moly. Check in our hotel and head straight out for lunch. 
I'm really hungry because we've kind of not had lunch or breakfast it's kind of been a merge and me and Rachel shared a sandwich so I'm getting pretty hungry it's currently 5 p.m here because they're two hours ahead uh, so let's go shall we Happy to be somewhere warmer. Oh, it looks really nice. Look at this lobby. Very fancy. <laughs> so we made it to our hotel. Rachel's done a really good job of booking this hotel because it's absolutely beautiful. We were actually just saying, I wonder if they've upgraded our room because Danielle was saying that it's off season, so it's quite quiet for this time of year so i don't know if they gave us a good room but it's huge and we've got these two big sofas that we can push together and watch tv in we're only here for four days though so i don't think like we'll be doing any of that and um, but i've just changed into this like quick shirt because we're going to go out for something to eat just around the corner because it looks so pretty when we were walking into the hotel and obviously because we didn't have time to get breakfast or anything me and rachel have only shared half a sandwich and it's like 7 p.m what time is it now cypress time yeah it's half six half six here so obviously we need something to eat so we didn't manage to get breakfast or proper dinner so we're gonna go out with some to eat it's really nice to see danielle again and uh this is rachel by the way you guys might recognize her Hi. she's gonna be in the vlogs this um this next couple of vlogs i can't i don't know if this is gonna be one vlog or two but anyway let's head out for some food shall we oh oh my god look how nice that looks <gasps> It looks so pretty, it's got like pink flowers dangling from the inside. Ah, oh, sweet cat, it's like turkey. Hello. Oh my god, this is a cute little side street. Ooh, it's so nice here. Ooh, nice, this looks nice. Yeah. Cheers, yay! Oh my god, wait, that looks incredible actually. Danielle got lemon and thyme chicken. And I got jukakie. Jujukakie. <laughs> I can't, you tried to make me say it, but I can't say it, but jujukakie. And it is a Greek dish with meatballs and tomato sauce, which I didn't try last time I was in Greece. And of course, a Greek salad, even though we're in Cyprus, but a lot of the two culinary experiences blend together, so. Oh my God, so <laughs> Yeah, I think you're in the yard. I think you've got lemon juice there. Oh my god, that is good. Yeah, give it a chat. Yeah. We're gonna have to put some, some cream on today. Yay. Smells like sea. Oh, this is our little balcony we've got. Look how cute this is. Cute, and look at the little side street down there. Oh, putting my camera over there, scary. Good morning, guys, from a beautiful sunny Cyprus. I can smell just, you know the smell of holiday, like sea air, it smells so amazing, it's quite windy today. We're here in spring, it's the middle of March when I'm filming this, but this probably won't go up until April-ish, so you're probably seeing this later than when we're filming it, so my first time in Cyprus, I love already that they do a lot of Greek stuff, they speak Greek here obviously, but um, they have like all the Greek salad and stuff, and if you watched my vlogs from when I went to Crete, <laughs> me and Dean were getting them at literally every meal, so it makes me super happy. We're meeting back up with Danielle today and I think we're going to head to the beach because it's going to be the sunniest day it's going to top at about 22 degrees so although we're not going to go swimming in the sea or pool or anything we're going to sit in the sunshine maybe drink some cocktails get some wine and she's bringing her twin girls which I can't wait to see as well so let's head out for breakfast first of all because I need myself a coffee <laughs> Little cat in the tree. Oh, he's got one eye bigger than his. Hello. I think I scared him. Where you going? Oh. oh. This will look really nice in summer when all oh, this grows in. Yeah. It's really cute here. We're eating here again. This is the breakfast. We've got like a mix of different things. Breakfast burrito. Cypress breakfast. Oh, they do ice latte. It's perfect. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. I've, oh there, that'll be nice. Ice caramel macchiato, you'd like that. Mm. coffees have come out and that looks phenomenal. I've got the iced ca caramel latte and Rich got this coffee, what was it? Coffee? Cafe like mocha? mocha? Called mocha basically I oh think. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. That looks so good. on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks like cream doesn't it? Like the textured milk. Yeah. They live for life together, the couples of oh. Oh, oh, they live together, a couple. Oh, it's like what you're looking at. <laughs> Our breakfast has come out and I'm never going to eat all this but I didn't realise it came with like chips and stuff but this apparently is a Cypriot breakfast so we've got halloumi, we've got a rasher of bacon I think it looks like. It's rich, got a toasty but it came with like a massive pile of chips as well. We thought it was just going to be more like small but yeah brunch but wow. The portions here are huge. Mm, I love halloumi. Oh, it's little grey kittens, look! They're just like peeking out here, let's see there. Oh, it looks oh. So nice. Hey! Hey, little kitties! Ah, oh, lovely. Anyway, we had a really, really nice breakfast. We're going to meet Danielle in about five, ten minutes. We love that place, so <laughs> It's got really good coffee as well. Uh, there's also a museum, an old castle fort here, uh, but I think we're going to do that tomorrow because it's only four euro to get in. This is what it looks like. This is the outside of it. We noticed it when we sat down, but it looks really cool. So I think we're going to do that another day. Uh, but it's just so pretty around here. I love all the buildings. Look how cool oh, everything is. With yeah, like mixed with new stuff. And really cool bars and stuff. Loads of places to eat and drink. Wow. I think this is all like uh, Grecian, well, Cypriot ruins. How cool, I need to read about it and see what they are. Cool car museum. Yeah. We've got an outdoor theatre. Where are we? St. Catherine's uh, Church. Church. Oh yeah. God, it's massive. The whole of this Limassol. We've got loads to explore. <laughs> Look at all these places to eat and drink as well. There's actually loads to do. Boxes are yellow here. It's cool, isn't it? Hello. Oh, that one's got a pooly eye. Oh, hello. Rachel, she's trying to take a picky of me with these cats, Kim. What are you doing? Oh, they're all following us. Oh. Hey guys, what a nice backdrop. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, oh look how big she is. Hello, Nova. Hello, gorgeous girl. Hello. Are we gonna go for a girly coffee? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, Girly coffee. Yeah, it's so Look at those little squishy Let's go for coffee. Ooh, it's so nice in here. Salt Lake. Yeah. I've never seen flamingos out in the wild like this before. Oh, 
hello guys so we've just got back to the room i've had such an amazing day it's so lovely to see danielle and all the girls it's just so nice to be here and catch up with them I've had the cutest day ever uh, it's actually pretty windy and cold it's 20 degrees but it's it's cold like i'm cold uh, me and rachel are just coming back to the room we're going to freshen up rachel's going to get ready and then we're going to go out for some tea and some red wine so i'm looking forward to that because it's so pretty here like all the stone walls and everything just make me so so happy definitely reminds me of crete all the fairy lights and everything the vines aren't quite out yet for spring or summer like all the greenery and stuff all the fairy lights are out which is really really pretty uh, so i'm looking forward to another lovely meal the food we've had like really good food everywhere as well we haven't had anything since breakfast uh, so we're going to save ourselves for tea and then we're going to go out i'm going to have a little coffee break actually i'm going to have a make myself a cup of coffee and then let's go out for tea shall we rachel's looking cute <laughs> oh i got you the worst time ever looking cute in a matilda jerv outfit and wide leg trousers i love this bag as well she could have come at I'm just in the same stuff that I've worn the whole day. Let's go for wine! <laughs> That's our favourite time of day, like sunset, although it's really cloudy today, so there isn't much sunset, but uh, we're going to find something to eat. This is where we're heading, Curly Wolf, and the castle's all lit up, but we're going to visit that tomorrow, because um, this looks really cute. I like all the chairs and everything. <laughs> We moved further in because it's pretty windy and it's like quite cold. Um, well, I'm cold, Rachel's not, but uh, yes, yeah, nice, nice in here. The decor's so cool. I love it. Even the glasses here are nice. Cheers, Rich. Happy holidays. just in this Paris restaurant. It's actually an authentic Parisian, they even have frog's legs. It looks really good though, look how pretty you look with the background, it looks beautiful. Also this is burning our face off, so I need to turn it down. But I love the look of the menu, look how trendy and cool this looks. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I only know the adjective cool and, and I Rachel only know the adjective nice. <laughs> so sorry if I always say cool. So every time we've been going anywhere, like Catherine's going, oh this is so cool. And I've been going, oh my god, this so is so nice. We don't know any other adjectives. We need to like eat a thesaurus or something. But anyway, it is very, very nice here. <laughs> It's very another synonym don't <laughs> nice. It is very beautiful here and I would hundred percent recommend Cyprus for a place to come, chill, drink. How many cool places is there we go, okay? So nice out there. Good morning guys. Last night was super super fun. We are suffering a little bit from a little bit of a red wine hangover slash headache. Today we're gonna to meet back up with Danielle and we're gonna actually explore, is it Limassol it is, isn't it? Limassol town and maybe do a little bit of sightseeing and yeah, just have a walk around the town and see what it's about. And first of all though, I need a coffee. Like I think that's gonna perk us up. We also made the fatal mistake of not getting a bottle of water before we came in. And this hotel room actually like leaves us a bottle of water. So we need to go and get lots of water in us. <laughs> Rachel was like, I'm going to get a full bottle, hope you don't mind, just to myself. I was like, no, I need to do it too. Let's head off to Limassol, shall we? But first of all, let's go get coffee. Look how cute this little table is, right outside our hotel. Oh, the breakfast looks amazing here, so we're going to sit here. Cute. <laughs>
back to the room we've had a gorgeous day out with the girls again and danielle we have just been like walking across all the streets and seeing all the little shops and everything and then just sitting down having a good night having really nice food the food here has been absolutely amazing every single place we have gone to has been exceptional i feel like it's similar to greece where they just know how to do the food everything has been super tasty and delicious and huge portions <laughs> again and this limassol old town is a really cool place to stay if you like like food wine drinking i feel like it's got so many bars you could literally explore anyway me and rachel are gonna head out for tea now i've had a nap I haven't bothered doing my makeup again. I've just put some like lippy back on, but I'm just heading back out. I'm gonna have a really nice cozy night. Me and Rachel are saying that we just love eating al fresco and being outside, even if it's winter or spring. It's really nice here because they have all the heaters on, so it's just nice to sit outside. Um, but preferably not in the wind because we had to move yesterday because we were like in the wind. Uh, so let's head back out for like a nice evening for tea, and then tomorrow we're actually having like a day drinking sesh, which will be fun. But anyway. I'm gonna head out for tea now, I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> oh, cats everywhere, oh they're so chunky this one. What? I think we're gonna venture out to the marina because it's really close, you just cross the road um, and maybe go for some lunch there because I feel like we've been to quite a few because we went to like three different bars, Curly Wolf, what are we calling it? Fluffy Pig. pig. <laughs> We were calling it every chunky monkey. monkey was one of them. Uh, we were calling it every name under the sun. It's a really nice place to eat. Uh, drink there. I think that is just a drink bar. They don't have like food places there. There's an Italian here that actually looks really nice. But I think we're going to cross over, go to the marina. Oh, this is way to the marina. There's some McDonald's. Look. So this is like another shortcut, and get something to eat. Taste this as soon as we've sat down. Look how nice it is here. Got little um, flowers, got like trees in the centre. This is a very nice restaurant. Uh, I think you'll like it. Mmm, oh my god. That is gorgeous, what the heck? morning guys yesterday was so so good but i made the fatal error <gasps> i've even got a patch look where my necklace was 
Oh my goodness, I made the fatal error of underestimating the UV rays through the clouds yesterday. The sun was like peeking in and out, but I was like drinking and chatting. And then next thing I know, Rachel's like, oh my gosh, your chest is burning. I've also got a bit of a red shoulder there as well, but never mind. I actually don't know how much footage I've got for this vlog because I've still only had one battery in this camera and I've still got hours and hours and hours left on my SD card which normally doesn't happen. I normally bring multiple SD cards get so much footage but this was more about catching up with friends and then it was about sightseeing but I would love to come back especially with Dean uh, to do some sights in that because this is really a great place I've already mentioned this but for um, like romantic meals out and imagine in the summer when the clouds are clear it'd be beautiful apparently in april it's a really nice time to come as well all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye